Sandy Storm here from Metal Shock Finland. We're here at Samson with Andy, and he's going to talk about some base products. Hi, Andy. Hi. This is the uh, this is one of our new Harky TX600 base amplifiers. This base amplifier, as you can see, it's quite light. It's very impressive. I have an integrated handle. It weighs just seven pounds. It's a pretty incredible thing. Always stays cool from the Class D design. It has an actual 12 AX7 tube inside of it, so you have a tube preamp and a Class D design, seven pounds and 600 watts at just $399 as well. So it's a pretty incredible deal. It has all the hard key, frequency control, shape, treble. Obviously, you've got your bass, your hard key bright switch, your preamp gain. You got a built-in compressor and mute switch. You got it'll work fine for active or passive bass lines. Not a problem. You also have the direct out for recording or going into pedals and things like that as well. This will be available in May of 2016, and it can be found at SamsonTech.com. Hi, we're going to talk about some of the new products. Hello, yeah, this is Chris Canella with ASP Guitars, and this is a 2016 NAM. Let me tell you just a couple of things that we have going on. We had we released 86 SKUs this year. Uh, basically, did a reface of the line, and it's been an absolutely overwhelming yet outstanding weekend for us. So one of the things that was a big initiative for me this year was a, a, an extension and a new bass line as a whole. So we decided to get in, sit with some of the best bass players on the planet, and really design basses for bass players, not just basses for crappy guitar players. So what we did is we went in heavily with things like the Horizon basses or H basses. These are all exotic woods with burled tops, uh, walnut maple neck through in the back, uh, rosewood fingerboards, Nordstrand noise canceling pickups with uh, active EQ, which is an on and off, and a mid sweep of 400 to 800 hertz. We have that in four and five string. We released this, these uh, uh, the stream bases finally in the LTD 1000 series, so now they're available for touring pro musicians as well as the 200 series, and you can get them up to E2 and uh, as well as ESP Custom Shop. Now, for the people that like to use a lot of tunings um, and but like more intonation or really into the progressive style of music, we went and created multi-scale basses so that each string has got a different scale length and they generally are going from about 37 to 34. Hence why the frets also change different angles as well. When you're doing that, it's also more ergonomic for the bass player because as your hand does this naturally, the frets follow. And then as you're playing with different tensions, it also makes it more uh, the intonation is more stable, and we have that in a four and a five string as well. These have rosewood tops, uh, babinga, uh, or ash bodies with babingas and wenge necks. And on the same style of platform, we're doing the B series of special edition bases. Same idea, exotic woods. These are the bolt on editions with the babinga and wenge necks. And this has a babinga top, also the Nordstrand pickups. Very high end uh, performance driven bases and we love them we make them for everybody and our baseline is for bass players and we're making a very big stink in that great what else do you have for us well now i have some stuff in our signature land people like glenn tipton of judas priest one of the first times he's actually designed a guitar with anybody since the painkiller record and he decided to call me up and do it with us and this has been amazing. What a great product this is with the Viper, with the Kaler, and the Glenn Tipton pickups. Ted Aguilar from Death Angel with the all-white Eclipse. And we got this new carved top George Lynch based on his Mr. Scary. But this is in an LTD version, so it's not so scary of a price. That's a joke. that I did not make that up. I stole it from somebody else. So if, the, if you're saying, Chris, that sucks, I know it does. But my friend who actually said it is laughing right now. So, and then what's more important... And a James Hetfield, the new James Hetfield Vulture. Kind of like this, we took the idea of the snake bite, which has been just killing it for us, and made it into a V. James's design, and let me say, when you're as influential as he is and knows performance of the right hand and stability of guitars, really, James Hetfield is second to none. And, you know, that's just the beginning of many things. I mean, Hetfield is obviously, this is going to be amazing. This whole first batch of guitars is already sold out, and the weekend isn't even over yet. And then to finish it off, for right now, even though we have, you know, 100 SKUs to go through, I will just show you these other two things that are brand new. One of them is the Thrash Legend, Mele Petroza, from one of the guys who helped create Thrash Metal out of Germany, from the band Creator. We got his new B. Uh, so based on a double arrow with Fishman Fluence pickups, Floyd Rose, and the kill switch in the two modes. Now, 
Alan Ashby from Of Mice and Men. This guitar right here, believe it or not, based on the TE style with the neck through, uh, single EMG with one volume, this guitar was the most liked picture on ESP Instagram history in less than 20 hours. And then one of our best friends in the world, Max Cavalera from previously from Sepultura back in the day, and now with Soulfly, Cavalera Conspiracy and Killer Be Killed. We're pretty close um, neighbors in Arizona because I live in Arizona, commute to, to Hollywood. And uh, I went to his house, and we, we decided, he wanted to design a new style, a new body. And we sat in his living room with a piece of graph paper and uh, some pencils, and we made this ourselves. And it's based on the word Reaper, but it's actually an RP. Uh, RP uh, this is the RP-1, the ESP, and we have an LTD version in the RP-200. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys. And you know what? Stay metal. Stay true. And if you're not honest to yourself, well, then turn off your computer and actually get into reality. Sandy Storm here with Mike MPC for Metal Shockfin, and hi, Mike. How you doing? I wanted to ask you, what products are you are you representing here at NAM? Um, this year, I'm demoing the um, Sonoma Wireworks uh, Guitar Stage, which is um, it's a guitar interface with the software on the iOS device. Um, I have se several other companies I'm uh, endorsed with um, in the convention center this year, in, at NAM this year. Um, you know, gu guitars, uh, Anderson guitars. Um, Didero's, Didero's strings and IK Multimedia software and the list goes on but like this year I'm demoing the uh, guitar stage for Soma that's why we're at the booth here <laughs> with all, the, all the, the pictures behind us and how do they help you with your sound? Um, well actually I I've only, I only use this, this device this is a um, I, mean, I use it for travel this device um, and actually um, I just got the, the guitar stage this year so I, well actually last week um, but I use it for like traveling in, in the hotels I could um, practice um, and, and plug it into my computer but I, I have other devices that do that too like other companies I, I'm with um, I came with the media and they, and they um, supply me with a lot of different products that interfaces software and so I mainly use this, this this stuff here for hotels. Home, I have my own like studio, and I have um, all kinds of gear by tons of names I can mention. Um, but yeah, this is mainly like an iOS device kind of thing, and um, it sounds great. And you know, has nice sound to it, and I'm having fun this year. You know, every every day I'm demoing the product, and. Um, That's great. And you talked about that you're having a new album coming out, right? A new album coming out in. Um, March, March, end of March, March or beginning of April. Probably closer end of March. Um, the, the album is finished. It's uh, mostly, um, I say mostly, it's like 70 20. It's like acoustic guitar with, mixed with electric guitar. It's a different kind of album. Um, I have an all acoustic record that I put out a few years ago, and I was originally going to do a lot, another all acoustic record, but now I kind of mixed it 70 30, I would say. 70 acoustic, 30 electric. So it's different, different album. Since well, every album I put out is different, I have different. Um, last one was more heavy instrumentals, and um, this one had vocals too on it, and um, a lot of acoustic guitar pieces and this mix. So uh, definitely the springtime 2016, um, that'd be out. I'm really excited. Um, it's been a couple of years since a Chameleon release, so uh, I had that com coming soon, like a month or so. Well, thank you so much for your time. And this is our Concert 88 camera wireless system. It's a UHF frequency actual wireless system that allows you 16 selectable frequencies, and you can have up to eight camera shoots at one time. So eight different systems can be used at the same time. 
the receiver itself is now lithium ion instead of uh, double A's. Lots of double A's will last about eight to 10 hours. Lithium ion will give you about 12 hours of time on the receiver, which is great. It gives you, all, you know, enough time for a full day shoot. The transmitter is a handheld transmitter using double A's, about eight hours, or you can have a belt pack. Now what's great about this system, it gives you 300 feet of operating line of sight. It's available in a lavalier, handheld, and combo configurations. Out of the box, you get the handheld system, which is $349, but for just another $50, $399, you can get the combo system. So you have both a belt pack and a handheld. So that's one of the nice things we have, and we have this at samsontech.com as well. Thank you so much for your time.